Hey, what's up, guys? This is I Seth Kills, otherwise known as Nick, and today we're going to be talking about Alien. I just did an Aliens uh, review, uh, a very in depth review, and I couldn't uh, go to sleep without doing an Alien review. This is not going to be a play by play as the Aliens review was, and that was more of a literally play by play almost. Uh, this is kind of just going to be talking about things I liked about the movie, maybe some things. Actually, there's really there's probably one thing I didn't like about the movie I could, I could think of. And uh, I'll kind of just take it from there. We'll talk about some particular scenes and kind of like the overall gist of it. But this movie, if you haven't seen it, by the way, is just excellent. Um, I compare it more to a slasher movie, more of a Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees type movie because there's only five or six characters that's, you know, basically being hunted by this alien. And the whole premise of the movie, and I loved how this movie was advertised. My dad told me that all they would show, even in the movie previews, if they saw it on TV, was just that egg that you see on screen. And it was always this big mystery, and nobody really knew what it was. So when ultimately the alien got reviewed in the movie, or, sorry, uh, reviewed, uh, appeared, let's just say, in the movie, it was very much shock. Um, nobody really expected it and neither did the actors by the way and we'll play that scene in a little bit but um the scene where the face hugger pops out of kane's chest that scene nobody told the actors what was going to happen so the reactions you saw from the actors was all real like they were actually shocked and they're actually surprised maybe even horrified and you saw those reactions in their face and i love that the, they went that direction because it it showed it really worked um, the movie itself is very much more in tone of a horror movie. Um, you know, Aliens is more of an action movie. This leans more towards horror. Um, so it does have a lot of nice, you know, scary scenes and you feel the tension throughout the movie. Um, nice thing too is the animosity that you have with the characters there's a couple scenes where parker and brett um were kind of messing with sigourney weaver it kind of shows and plays it off as you know some of the crew members really doesn't respect her and she's i think the lieutenant so she's probably what the second in charge um because i remember there was a scene where tom scarrett's dallas um, we're bringing back John Hurt's character's Kane to the ship uh, with Lambert, Veronica Cartwright's character, and Ripley was in charge. I know uh, Lambert was in the head of Ripley, so I'm believing Ripley was second in charge. But they just do an excellent, excellent job. Sigourney Weaver, you know, goes far and beyond. Um, was really the leading lady as far as like the female badass. You know, she kind of started it all. And she did excellent. I, it sucks to know that she didn't really get paid that much to do this movie because she was the main character. But it's comforting to know that she, she got quite an increase for Aliens, uh, which James Cameron kind of fought for her. Which I'm glad to hear because she does deserve it because this movie does not work without her character. So, you know, throughout the movie, um, after, you know, they bring back John Hurt's character to the ship and they figure out, you know, that they can't take the face hugger off through doing some tests. And, you know, you have that acid scene where the acid falls through like three or four, you know, flights of stairs. I'm sorry, three or four stories and ultimately stops. And you feel that like tension in that scene too. Like you're like, oh my God, this, you know, they're in space. If it goes ultimately throughout the whole ship, uh, you know, they could pretty much die well, maybe a short movie but uh, you don't want that to happen so you felt the tension in the scene um and it was great like uh, that scene and then you had the oh which i'll play right now this scene was the one where they didn't tell any of the actors what was going to happen and i'll play that and it was an excellent scene i love this scene here i gotta make sure i go back all right here we go. Sorry, guys. I gotta learn some editing so I don't have to go through this. Oh, <laughs> 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 
And we get introduced to our alien. And nobody knew. Like, from what my dad told me, like, nobody in the theater knew if this was going to happen. Like, this alien was going to pop out. And this, it was only the egg, so we never knew what the alien was going to look like. So it was very much a shock. And you saw the reaction to the characters, and they were just shocked as well. Like, they didn't know that was going to happen. Which is kind of, like, interesting how they, how you think they would have set up that scene in order for that alien to pop out logistically, but, uh, or maybe they just didn't tell him what was going to pop out, but whatever it was, it worked in the scene because those reactions were priceless. I love that scene. And I mean, this is all practical effects, you know, like no CGI. It was all just done practical. And like when you do practical effects, I think to be honest, it looks more real than CGI and looks better. Um, when done right, you know, if you look at movies like The Thing, all practical effects, but they did, you know, things that typically you would need just CGI for. So I kind of wish they would go back to this. Uh, ultimately, though, the alien does grow up. You know, it kind of takes the characters out one by one. You got a really good high tension scenes with Dallas Dallas's uh, character inside a vent, um, and Ripley's kind of in doing this motion detector thing, kind of letting him know that the alien's coming close. You know, and at first he was like kind of like a badass. You know, like well, don't worry, whatever. Kind of like I'll just go by myself. I handled this. And once the alien was getting close, he was changing his mind real quick. He wanted to get out of those vents. And this is probably one of the only scenes in the movie I didn't really like too much because if they cut it a little bit earlier, it would have worked out a lot better for the tense, you know, scariness of the scene because the alien literally does jazz hands. And if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about because they don't cut it like quite where they should. Like they should cut it as the alien is approaching and then just cut it. But like they cut it when the alien froze for a second, like he was posing for a picture does his jazz hands and then they cut it so that's probably my only complaint but otherwise than that <laughs> the movie was damn damn near perfect for like a horror you know slasher type movie uh, ultimately though the alien does pick off pick off each character one by one um, which a lot of them do have good scenes in how they died um, when Parker's character and Veronica Cartwright's character, Lambert, like that one scene where Lambert's on the ground and the alien's just kind of like looking, you know, at her before she enjoys his meal, I guess. And it's kind of like that one scene in Aliens 3 where the alien did the same thing to Ripley. But, you know, it happened in the first film. Very, very tense. Um, ultimately, though, once uh, the alien does finish off um, everyone but Ripley, Ripley is left off in a kind of like a, I guess, rescue ship or pod ship. Um, and basically tries to get prepared for hypersleep. I don't remember if she actually like sets a navigation to go to Earth, but we obviously know she gets lost for 57 years. But uh, I gotta rewatch the movie to see if she entered anything into the computer, like a destination or something like that, or if they even mentioned it in the film. But ultimately, you get the the scene where she gets the upper hand in the alien when she does notice that the alien did tag along, um, straps herself in after putting on the spacesuit, and you know says, I think it was like a not a prayer, it was like a. Maybe like a childhood rhyme or something. I gotta rewatch it. It's such a great movie. While she's strapping herself to the seat, and yeah, I think it was like a childish like rhyme or not childish, uh, a childhood um, poem or rhyme or something like that. I gotta rewatch it. Anyways, while she's saying that, she um, gets the alien off of the vent 
that he was hiding in amongst all these like hoses and stuff. Gets him to start moving. Um, kind of gets him off of that area and ultimately ejects the, the the alien out into space. I mean, it's a very simple kind of ending, but it was very really tensely played out. Um, they make the tension last throughout the scene, especially when she was trying to get him off of those vents and as she was putting on the suit and the way she was like breathing. I mean, she did an excellent job acting it out because there was no dialogue that was needed like everything that was happening on screen her facial reactions the way she was shivering and shaking uh, talking to herself really um kind of talking herself through it giving her the strength but um definitely an amazing scene and i love this movie and if you're a horror fan if you haven't seen this movie yet this movie is up there for me anyways um the exorcist um uh, you know, the first Halloween. Um, I mean, obviously, I think it's better than those movies. So if you haven't watched it yet, I definitely suggest watching. It's definitely an awesome watch. It's one of those movies, if you haven't watched it, like like with Aliens, it's going to be in your library as a regular thing that you want to put on. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, it wasn't going to be a play-by-play. -play. I just kind of wanted to talk about general scenes and kind of go through the movie in order while talking about those general scenes so hopefully i did a good enough job the aliens review ended up being like a 35 minute review so i didn't want it to make that long of a review for alien um, even though it does deserve it because it is an excellent movie i just didn't want to do another play-by-play -play. but hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like and subscribe button and i will catch you on the next one